यूएस प्रेसिडेंट जो बाइडन थैंक द ज्वाइंट चीफ ऑफ स्टाफ एंड कम्बेटेंट कमांडर्स ऑफ देयर कमिटमेंट एंड देयर ट्रूप्स ग्लोबल मिशन ड्यूरिंग अ मीटिंग इन द व्हाइट हाउस ऑन वेडनेसडे थैंक यू फॉर कमिटमेंट आई नो लास्ट ईयर है As you've faced crisis abroad, you've also faced unnecessary chaos here at home. Polarized politics, which I'm sure doesn't confuse you at all, but it uh, does me sometimes. Biden said the U.S. military is the greatest fighting force the world has ever seen, adding that never before had the U.S. asked so much of its military. And I know I've said it before, but I mean it. I don't think there's any. comparable counter argument you're the greatest fighting force the world has ever seen and that's a fact I want to thank you for your leadership I know it's uh, I may not look at it but I've seen it for a while I've been around, I know I don't look like I've been around very long I know that part but, uh, but I've never before have I seen the nation ask so much of our military in so many parts of the world at the same time in Europe You're equipping and training Ukrainian troops as they defend their freedom against Russia's vicious onslaught. In Africa, you're working with our partners to take terrorists off the battlefield. In the Indo-Pacific, you're building alliances with Australia, Philippines, Japan, and Republic of Korea, and improving our relationship with India as well, and putting our nation in the strongest position we can possibly be in. In the Middle East, you have stepped up to defend against a range of unprecedented attacks on U.S. forces, Israel, and our partners across the region. The president also highlighted that cases of sexual assault and harassment within active duty forces are down for the first time in nearly a decade. I'm proud that for the first time in nearly a decade, rates of sexual assault and harassment are within active duty forces are down. They're down, and that's because of your leadership. And finally, as I said a moment ago, I know I've asked a lot of you, but and everyone in this room, but I have one more request. Please pass along my deepest thanks to all the servicemen and women under your control and under your charge. I really mean it. And uh, you know, I've I've had uh, I've had a vow since I've been a young senator. And that is that you know we have a, a lot of obligation, but only one. Only one overwhelming obligation: to prepare those we send in the harm's way with all they need, and take care of them and their families when they come home and when they don't come home. And uh, you've made progress on this front as well, last year, particular. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button. and subscribe to our channel for more content like this also feel free to leave your comments or suggestions in the comment section below we appreciate your feedback and look forward to hearing from you thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one